This is a new series that I'm hopefully going to do more episodes of. But this series where I give uh, move ideas for characters that aren't in Mortal Kombat 11. Those characters could be guests or could be characters from other Mortal Kombat games. But let's get into the video. This character, this video is going to be designing and explaining special moves and maybe even some combo strings of Rain if he was in Mortal Kombat 11. And Rain's portrayed by this blue stick figure because I'm bad at drawing. First up, we got my favorite move, the bubble move. This move will be a full screen projectile that lifts the opponent into the air and gives you about two seconds of the combo off of it. And if you amplify it, it lasts for four seconds and you can control the bubble. So you can use it to pull the opponent towards you. If, or if you're not good at dashing in your combos, you could use it to get some space and push them backwards. And if you're not good at combos, you could push, position them above themselves. And when the bubble breaks, you could uppercut them. Next, we got his iconic move, the roundhouse kick. When amplifying it, it would be good for ending combos. And it would it would be good for ending combos, and if you amplify it, you could combo off of it, kind of like Shang Tsung Drain Kick. You also get the ability to cancel it at the cost of one defensive bar. The next move is Teleport. Unlike Scorpion's Teleport, there's no attack at the end of it, but like characters like Cetria and Scarlet, it's just a Teleport. He would turn into water, then appear behind the opponent. If you hold backwards while doing the Teleport, he would spend a defensive bar and put you in front of them. If you hold if you hold forward, it would put you far behind them. If you amplify, you become invincible for a few frames after teleporting. Next we have his rising water move. He would blast himself into the air with water after hitting the if, water hitting the opponent if, if if the opponent's near him. In corners you can use this to extend combos, but there's no amplify option. So there's no way to do a combo with that out of corners. But maybe you could use it as a combo under. Next he has water blast. He would shoot water, going about half screen. If he amplified, it does more damage. The move itself leads the, leaves the opponent standing up, and it's amazing for ending combos. Overall, it's not the most useful move, but it has its uses. Next, the thunder. Next, he has the thunder strike. He summons a cloud above the opponent and strikes lightning on them. It's a decent zoning tool, and mixed with the bubble and water blast, he can use it to enhance zoning. It would knock down the opponent and deal decent damage. Not the best combo under, it's mostly just for zoning. When amplified, lightning strikes twice and deals more chip damage and has a higher chance of hitting the opponent. Thank you guys for watching, these were just a few ideas. I might do a part 2, adding more terrain and some other characters, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you like this video, have a good day.